It is the Hits Radio Friday mixtape, the two hours of delight where we hand over control to some of our favourite LGBTQ plus icons and allies, dive deep into their record collection and see which tracks would make their ultimate playlist. This week, hanging out with a girl, oh, I've had my eyes on her for so, so long. I cannot believe we are doing this. If you do not know the name, Rina Sawayama, you were doing yourself an injustice and she is picking the tracks this week. Oh my my god hello hi how are you i'm doing very well i'm uber excited to hang out with you because i just think it's so exciting everything about you right now the, the buzz of sawayama itself is like huge oh my gosh yeah thank you i yeah i definitely didn't expect to get that out of 2020 to be honest i'm very <laughs> very lucky but um i had something to keep me really busy really because i think that record saved my younger self by way of writing about it but then definitely 2020 to keep me focused and busy um right today is a bit of an education as well for anyone that doesn't know you and uh, and i want to start with sawayama this album i mean i remember drinking with a few mates this summer and one went oh my god have you heard rina sawayama yet and i was like no what's this like new asmr vibey thing um <laughs> And then we just listened to it, like, almost in silence, honestly. And my head went anywhere and everywhere. That first listen was so, so special. Oh, wow, that's amazing. God, you listen to it in silence. That's pretty... And I mean, I really appreciate it because that's how I like to listen to albums as well. So, yeah, yeah thanks for that. What was your first listen through, like, when, when the album was finished and completed and, like, handed in? Um, I was just hating it by that point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, it sounded good, but like, look, listen, when you've listened to it 50 times, when you listen to like that snare sound yeah. on minute three of this song, and that's because it's so hard to pull back from that and mm. listen to the songs and the album as a whole. And I think I only really re-listened to it when it came out. So there was a maybe, maybe like five months or four months between me put like, like submitting it and then, um, like, yeah, releasing and I, oh God. Yeah, I, I think when I um, realized that other people liked it, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and proud. Hits Radio Pride. Um, let, let's talk a bit about, you know, our community from the beginning as well. Unapologetic about your sexuality, about your identity. I mean, just before the Cherry video, uh, you posted about the community and how accepting they were. And it makes my heart warm that you just feel so comfortable and then others can eat that feeling up from you as well. Yeah, you know, I always want to lead with positivity because I think there's a lot of hardship that's, you know, that people go through in this community. And also in, within the community, there's still lots of, you know, long way to go. And I think being positive and being inclusive is like my way of helping with that. But yeah, you know, I didn't grow up with seeing a lot of East Asian queer people. And now there's, seen, I don't know, maybe it's just like the circle of Instagram and friends that I have. But it just <laughs> seems like I just can't escape queer people now. <laughs> uh, before we dive into your mixtape, Lucid. I mean, yes. hey, dance floor, hey, up at 3 a.m. And I've requested this for the fourth time. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, I know. I love it so much. I've never done like a proper dance song. I mean, Comme de Garçon, which is in the record. That's like a cool, I don't know, it's kind of like Chicago-y, but this yeah. is like full on LA West Hollywood yeah. for me. And it's like, I don't know, it's also like giving me heaven vibe and you know, <laughs> I just really miss going out in, in Soho. I miss heaven. I, I can't miss believe heaven I'm too. Uh, I played there and I was I've been there so many times to see um artists and I saw Tenache there and oh. like I, I mean it's just it's such an iconic venue. I played there but yeah, I just I love it there because they've got different floors and different music. That's what you know. Shay, uh, I'm the one that's actually ah uh, no, you know Departure Lounge, the little kind of small room where you always get your photos with the drag queens. Yeah, what's what's the music like in there? Oh, it's re it's like it's just a lot quieter than the main floor. But then when I hear oh, a track funny. and you're like, I literally grab Running. the arm of someone I don't know who you are, yeah. but you go straight there. I just love it. I love like I love and every night too. as well. Like you could go on a Friday and see like Miley Cyrus, and you're like, oh, okay, it's a pound. It's so wild. Yeah, people do kind of what they call underplays which is like big artists doing smaller venues yeah um oh yeah i mean for, did, it, did britney spears play there or did i just completely imagine it i feel like britney definitely did i remember oh, i always got annoyed at this because gaga played one night and she yes. premiered venus and i was with a couple of my straight mates and they were like yeah, we're not going to heaven we're going to go to this other place and i've never forgiven them i have no. never ever forgiven them no oh i'm forgiven anyway talking about lucid your track can't wait to hear that on six foot speakers in heaven same 
Ama. We're jumping into the Hits Radio Prime next day with X with Arena Sawayama. Loud and proud. Hits Radio Pride. It's Radio Pro Mixtape this week, hanging out with Rina Sawayama. She is in charge. I want to talk about the first ever song that you remember hearing and just going, oh my God, this is the one, this is T. So this is um, Kiss Kiss by Holly Valance. Right, that's it. That's the end of the mixtape. That is that's it. it. Thank you. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> I remember first seeing that video. Mm. Um, and I don't know, like, you know, I remember, like, the TV was how you found out about new music, right? So I remember Holly Rollins going to number one, and I think I was about 12 or maybe 11, and I hadn't seen a lot of, like, naked sexy bodies by that point. And I think that was, like, my first, like, awakening. I was like, what is this? Who is this? <laughs> And this song was just amazing. And I remember singing it. It must have been so inappropriate because it's like so sexual, but I was like 11 or 12 and I was at school like singing it all the time. And I don't know, I don't know what to say. I guess it was kind of like that start of like the Middle Eastern sound and like the, t- I, don't, I don't think it was produced by Timbaland, but it was like that kind of vibe of yeah. like sounds that was coming out. Um, but yeah, I mean, it might actually be a sample of a Middle Eastern song. I think, I feel like I did a deep dive on this one time. I love it. She's writing essays on Holly Valance. I know. Tell me about it. I could write essays on like all the pop girls, honestly. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is my awakening to pop and um, sexy ladies. Oh, Holly Valance, absolute queen. Kiss, kiss on a Hits Radio Pride. Loud and proud. I like how you do so we are hanging out with Rita Sawayama this week on the Hits Radio Pride mixtape. Little Monsters Unite, Bad Romance, Lady Gaga. I mean, that's the turning point. 2009? 2009. I remember, again, I saw it on telly and I think Channel 4 premiered it or something. Hey, up. Yeah, and they would do, I mean, what exactly what YouTube does now where they do the countdown. Yeah. And, and I remember watching it and I was like, oh my God. And that was when, that was the first time I saw fashion and music work like that. Yeah. Right, because we didn't. I didn't grow up with Madonna. Right, Madonna in the eighties, spectacular, amazing, and she married music and fashion in that way. But I didn't grow up with it, and that was the first time. And I didn't know who Alexander McQueen was. I didn't know who Nicole Formichetti was. Um, and I remember just just being so shocked at the aesthetics. Yeah. And then she followed it up with Telephone, or was that before? I don't know. But no, it was that whole right. era was wild. And then she did like Alejandro, just all the the best, the most expensive, gorgeous videos that she's ever done. <laughs> Gaga, Bad Romance on Hits Radio Pride. Rock. Loud and proud. Hits Radio Pride. We just Sawayama on Hits Radio Pride right now, taking over the records. Uh, give me a song that like really inspires you or speaks to you or something that is like really close to your heart. I have never cried so much to a song on first listen Whoa. as much as I did for Rainbow by Casey Musgraves. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, like I was saying earlier, there is such an art in writing a song so pure Mm. and telling a story that has been told before, but telling it in such a way that it just like, like digs the knife right into your heart. And yeah, I just think it's wonderful. I think it's important coming from a country artist as well, that kind of message. Um, She's always been very pro LGBT. um, And I love that whole record. I love Golden Hour. Um, I don't know if you saw, but my Spotify wrapped um, for the last two years has been like my top 10 songs are all Casey Musgrave songs. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's like, maybe think like Conde Garçon or like Alakasagasad or something. There's like one song of mine this year, but the rest is all Casey Musgrave. So I'm just like completely obsessed. She really is like meditative and she really calms me down. And I just think it's a very powerful and very simple message. And I think it's, it's really beautiful. Loud and proud. I like how you don't know that. Hits Radio Pride. This is maybe a contentious one. Hits Radio Pride. Rina Sawayama's on the mixtape this week. Uh, a song you wish you'd written, and you're telling me, cut to the feeling, Carly Bay Jepsen. Absolutely. What a queen. The audacity, really, to go <laughs> up to that note in a, in a chorus. That's all I'm saying. Like, as a... When you're writing songs, you always think, oh, what can make this a bit different? But the fact that she went to that note in the chorus and made like everyone struggle when they sing along to it, um, (laughs) we have to stand. But I just think she's able to um, kind of package pure joy um, 
into a song in a way that I don't see anyone else. And it's so like, with a lack of intention, it's just so, yeah, like very direct and pure. And um, I just think as a song, as a pop song, I think that's like one of the best pop songs, best written pop songs, like of the last 10 years. I love also songs that sound like Disney songs, but are pop songs. It's like my favorite yeah. genre. She, um, yeah. we, I, I mean, I am going to make you maybe a little bit jealous, but I did interview her in the flesh. <gasps> I did actually hug that body and I was like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm oh sorry. Oh my gosh. But Honestly, it was like, yeah. She was, um, she was literally like so obsessed with, she was like, I love British men. They're so cute. And I was like, are you seeing people in top hats and bow ties? Because they ain't that good, sis. That's so funny. Just take her to a local pub and she yeah. might. Take, take her to the white room, something. eh? Yeah. <laughs> Cut to the feeling. Carly Rae Jepsen on the Hits Radio Prime mixtape. Loud and proud. Hits Radio Prime. It's the Hits Radio Prime mixtape this week. Hanging out with Rina Sawayama. She is in charge. And let me upgrade you. Beyonce is a track that makes you want to party. I mean, choices were made. Oh, I love that. That whole record is amazing. I mean, the fact that she called her album B-Day is fully <laughs> iconic. Um, yeah. But there's some, I mean, I feel like that was the original visual album. You know, people got mm. really gassed about her visual, visual, the Beyonce visual album, but she had a video for every single song on that on that record. And I think that record had green light, had free come dress. Um, oh. I know, I was going to choose green light actually, but I thought upgrade you is way more like, I don't know, going out. Like you feel very like powerful and strong. It's very pre drinks that album. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And I love that era of Beyonce. I mean, I love, I love Beyonce, but like that era of Beyonce to me was just incredibly creative and just amazing. Is this Radio really Prime Mixtape with Upgrade You and Beyonce? I want to take a sec, Rina Sawayama on the Hits Radio Prime mixtape to chat about um, queer history a little bit, LGBTQ plus history, a defining song and artist for you. And I, I love this choice. It's very interesting. I'll, tell me, tell me about it. So it's it's called The Story and it's by Brandy Carlisle and it's one of my favorite songs ever. Mm. And I only got shown it about two years ago from a friend. And I don't think Brandy's actually that big here. Um, mm. I think she her main audience is in the US, but the first time you hear this song, you're absolutely floored, basically. It's just a lot of surprises and the way she sings it is so powerful. And I think it's just a reflection of, of your life. And, you know, the whole song starts off with like, when you see the lines on my face and it's kind of, you know, like, a, and I love songs that tell a story from an older perspective. Oh, beautiful. Loud and proud. I like how you know. It's Radio Prime Mixtape this week with Rina Sawayama. She is taking over the records this week. Hey, a lip sync song is something special, but when it's Survivor, Destiny's Child, it's even bigger. Honestly, I was... I felt like I had escaped a island and was, you know, paddling in a boat like like they were yeah. in the music video when I was 13. I, it made me feel like a big strong woman um and i can say it like top to bottom i can sing the whole thing and i can even do all the rough and the runs and riffs yeah even the echoes and the middle eights and stuff i can do all of it (laughs) i love it we're getting into the ultimate song to lip sync to from rina sawayama it is survivor by destiny's child having a lot of fun with this you know i'm just you know i'm writing more songs and even during this lockdown i'm trying to find a way to write more songs and the songs I'm writing are wild and hey. you know it's it's great so I'm really excited to release them and I've got a couple of surprises coming up as well so Whoa, here we go um, Rena bless you thank you so much this